Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lawrence Plays GTA Manhunt Checkpoint. I'm playing the Prey and I'm sort of vaguely on the approach to the uh, the first checkpoint down here. We're doing the map again with the um, multiple checkpoints for e e at, each, uh, at each spot where one of them is way up in the air in, in a weird and awkward place and the other one is on a junction in a slightly more normal place and generally the, the prey is expected to take the normal one um, rather than the rather than the silly one um, now the first checkpoint is somewhere sort of, it's sort of off over that way a bit I'm coming down in past well there's a multicolored car park there behind me um, so it's down here a bit and then off to the off to the left of green light I picked up a Sabre Turbo um, I'm not really sure why, because it's not a car I use a huge amount, but I think it's a reasonably powerful muscle car. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. I should have paid more attention to what the hunters were driving before I set off and tried to pick something that would be a bit more, a bit that would be, um, that would play to their weaknesses, should we say. Um, but I didn't, so we'll <laughs> see how it goes. I'm not taking the sneaky approach to the first checkpoint this time because um, I've done that a few times. It feels slightly cheap, and mo more importantly, I did it last time and they saw and they saw me, so they they're going to be expecting that now. Although, of course, they're saying they're going to be expecting that. They're probably going to expect they they sh should know by now to expect me to always do things differently to what I think is going to be obvious, if that makes any sense. So they sh maybe they'll expect me to come in from a completely different direction. I am still coming in from the uh, from the west though because that makes more sense because that way there's a bit more fuzz on which direction I'm coming in from. If I if I approach from the east, then I will go very high very high up in the rankings. So I'll probably go first before I then drop back down again as I approach the uh, the actual checkpoint itself. So we're going to do it this way round. Come along here, and there's the, you can see the checkpoint up ahead of me. So I need to get up to that and get through that, ideally without the hunters noticing me. And unlike some of the earlier rounds, we, we, it's, it's well, it's daytime now, as you can as you can clearly see by the amount of lights around. So the the glowiness, glowy effects on the hunter vehicles aren't going to be quite as obvious. They're not going to make them stick out quite as much as they sometimes do. That said, that looks like Tristan on the horizon. I recognise the way the car was moving. I think it was as it was going across the um, across the road sideways. It looked suspicious. And there's Mike as well. Actually, maybe that wasn't Tristan. No, I take it back. That looks like a tornado, not a um, uh, not a Windsor. Okay, so Mike is haunting the uh, the checkpoint. So when I if when I take it, there's probably going to be a chase fairly quickly because he's going to see. Even if he doesn't seem, even if he hasn't worked out that it's me when I go through it, I think he's going to have. He's going to know that I've taken it because I'll suddenly jump up to first position. And so he's going to assume that, he's, and then he's going to look to see what cars are basically in the um, in the checkpoint at the point where he sees that I've gone first. And well, I'm not allowed to drive that Voltic next to me, so I'm, I'm, I must be in this car. That's the uh, <laughs> the only possibility. Yeah, there's Mike, sort of on guard. Maybe if I turn, what's he here? Yes, he is in a Windsor, so he's going to struggle to turn round. There's Tristan. Yeah, he spotted me. I'm not hanging around. He's shooting already, jeez. And I think that was a tyre going. And there's Pete right behind me as well. Oh, the heck. <laughs> oh no, maybe it wasn't a tyre going. The car seems to still be handling. Okay. Well, I'm going to hope that the, that the, uh, the muscle car, the um, Sabre, is, is faster than... Um, oh, I think, is, is Pete in a Zion or is that an Os... I think it's a Zion. So I'm just going to keep going this way. In the hope that, yeah, a bit of straight line speed will. Oh, and a terrible spin there. Okay, in theory, a bit of straight line speed there should have been extremely useful. However, stop. He was <laughs> pushing on the front of my car, so I couldn't bring the front of the car around to point it in the direction I wanted to go in. <laughs> Cheeky boss name. Right. Okay, back to plan A. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of speed and just try and get away from him. This might not be the most exciting type of chase, for which I apologise. I um, will try and endeavour to keep the chase as interesting as I can. But at the moment, I'm just trying to get away from him. 
and subtlety is not what this car was made for. Possibly I should have picked up something with a little bit more agility. Maybe um, maybe one of the compacts. Uh, he's keeping up with me. Gee, how's he doing that? This is supposed to be a much... Oh! God. Typical muscle car handling there. Just... Ooh. That, okay, that, that was just bad driving from me. I, I take the blame for that bit. <laughs> but... Ooh, around the corner. Is he still with me? Don't think so. I mean, I've said don't think so before and been very, very wrong. So I'm going to keep running now through that motorbike. That slowed me down a bit so I can take this corner. Um, I don't really know where Pete came from when, when on that. I mean, he must be. He must have been just. Well, obviously he was guarding the uh, checkpoint, so he was. He was fairly nearby. Uh, he must have just happened to be in the right place to jump me. Um, as I as I left it. Oh, right. Good. Pretty sure I'm free in a way. And they're going to see I'm gone to first place now, which is going to be a bit weird for them. Do you mind? <laughs> I'm trying to drive along the wrong side of the road here. Um, yeah, so I don't think... I, well, I, if I did get into fourth place, I didn't notice. So I'm not going to take the next checkpoint yet. I am just going to park across the road here like this. And then think about a new car, because that one's got beaten up. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is a um, fugitive? Yes, fugitive. Now these... I'm not sure about these. I think they're reasonably good cars, but I haven't driven them a huge amount for quite a long time, so... I'm not really sure. I also need to get off this highway, um, because I'm heading directly away from the checkpoint, and there aren't any exits in the right direction, so I'm just going to turn around here. Yeah, I, to be honest, I don't think damage is what's getting me caught. <laughs> oh, there's the next checkpoint. You can sit there on top of that building. So that's the that's the difficult to get to one of the, of the pair. So I need to then come along, come around this way and cruise up from the, well, from wherever and try, try and grab the other checkpoint. So, let's see. What's the, what's a good way to approach this? I mean, I, I think I'm probably just not going to, I'm just going to be I'm just going to be blatant and drive up to it. I think I'm not feeling the sneaky approach this time. Um, so I'll just come around here. I almost wish there was another car, a sort of an AI car in front of me that I could be following. So I'd get an idea of a sensible speed to be going at. <laughs> oh, there's some. So I want to be behind these cars. There's Mike again. getting in the way and being unhelpful. I'm not hanging around while he, while he checks every car in the road. I'm just going to try and drive. Okay, so now I'm going to, once again, <laughs> run away with Pete following me. <laughs> I don't know what's down. I was going to go down there, but I don't know what's down that road. I think actually now, now I think about it, that would have been a good way to go because I think it leads out onto the um, onto the highway in a slightly odd place, and therefore would have been quite a good way to try and escape. Let's go through red car park because I don't know if he was close enough behind me to see me drop in here. And if I punch straight through here like this, I can then do what I was talking about doing before: over the jump. It's a difficult one to land that jump, and I always seem to end up spinning on the landing. But <laughs> but there's a massive purple fireplace coming following me. Okay, I was have to admit I wasn't really expecting that. I didn't know Tristan was still around. Um, <laughs> obviously he's a lot closer than I realised. So yes, let's try and let's carry on. Oh, he's still there. Um, there's no. Why am I running in a straight line? He's got the faster car. That's a silly idea. I need to take corners and things and mess around in the ghetto and you know all the or go up here and hope he doesn't didn't no he did see me okay this is probably a bad call then because this is going onto the highway and you don't want to go onto the highway when you're being chased by a car that's faster than you that's a bad move this on the other hand <laughs> is going to bring me straight back onto the highway <laughs> at least that's going to give him a um a, a tricky time telling the others where I am 
Now I need another I need another highway exit. Because I don't want to be stuck on here with the winds of, winds with the winds of drop following me. Because I'm fully aware that it's a faster car. So I need to do something weird and funny and difficult. Ideally involving some some excellent driving and some twisty Oh no, and some dead ends. I do not want the dead ends. <laughs> However, that is a turn round, and he's not very good at those. And this is a sort of a fiddly weird bit, and I'm not very good at them myself, so... Get back on... Oh, it's back onto the same highway I just came off. <laughs> oh, no. Um... Yeah, so my... That, that's not how you escape. That's, this is not going... Well... Oh, there's two of them now. This is... Two hunters is bad because then one can pin me and one can shoot me. And apparently I'm incapable of driving around anything at all. On the other hand, two hunters is sometimes helpful because they get in each other's way a bit, if you're lucky. Um, I think Tristan and Pete are quite good at communicating, so they're perhaps less likely to tangle around each other than some than other people, but they, yeah, we'll have to see. Um, alternatively, I'll just run back into the um, the ghetto and try and get try and do some alleyway dodges in here. Uh, it's one of my the ghetto is one of my favourite places to try and evade, especially the uh, the heavier cars, the Windsors. He says then go to go going in a straight line all the way through the ghetto, which isn't how you use the ghetto. No, don't go on the freeway again. It's a terrible idea. Just turn round instead. <laughs> oh, I think I think Pete might have T-boned Tristan there. Can only hope. Let's do the old car wash route. And around like that. How's he doing? Hope he's still there. It is difficult. It is difficult to escape from a car that's faster than uh, faster than the one you're in. Um. But I shall keep trying. Narrow alleyways like that are potentially useful. Oh, that's a immovable object. There's too many immovable objects in this game. Uh, I'm stuck. No, I've just steered the wrong way. Go this way. There we go. I think now I'm. I managed to. I managed to somehow wrestle my car free from him there. Oh, he's turned around quicker than I was hoping. <laughs> at least I've got my tyres at the moment. That's a, a good, a, a good thing. Right in here, there is a. a dive down a corner like that, and then back out. And then I don't know. I'm. <laughs> trying. I'm trying not to be predictable, and I have this bad habit of when I'm trying to be evasive. I'm just going round and round in in circles. Oh, he's dropped back. Good. I'm hoping. I also he also knows that I quite like going left at the end of that bit of road there, um, because you can go into some sort of funny off-roady bit that goes under the railway lines. Um, and I quite like that, except that he knows I quite like that, so I don't want to do it. <laughs> Let's go up here over this bridge. Right, this is going to make it. This is an odd way to go, and it's also going to make it really obvious if they're still with me. I think I've managed to escape. <clears throat> that was quite hard work. <laughs> and there's not very much left of this car either. So, first on the agenda, let's find a new car that isn't terrible. Second on the agenda is to head over to the airport and try and pick up that checkpoint. Uh, no, I don't want another muscle car there. I want something small, light and nimble. Um... A, a blister would actually be perfect. I haven't had seen one of those for ages, though. Um, maybe a, a blister, or perhaps even a even a radius would do quite nicely at this point, because it's sort of it. It's a, a reasonably agile car that can sort of dodge around quite well, even if its stats aren't great. But all we've got down here is buccaneers and whatever whatever that is, and these pickups. Maybe a pickup would be quite good because it'd be a bit heavier and be able to punch things out of the way. 
All right, I need to change cars, so I'm going to take that Sabre Turbo. Um, but I'm going to keep my eyes out for a, something something a bit more suited to the sort of thing I'm trying to do at the moment. Out. Right, I'm in third place. Um, that's interesting. I would have thought this long after they've... It was a little while ago that I took the last checkpoint, so I'd sort of expected them to have given up on the... No, not given the last checkpoint, sorry, finished the, finished the last chase. So I would have sort of expected them to have given up and gone off look, gone off to start guarding... No, there we go, fourth now. Start guarding the next checkpoint, so they, they clearly have now. Maybe one of them was going back to a car repair or something like that. Okay, so now we're heading down to the airport. And this is in a slightly funny place in the airport, but what last in the last session I had... Um, I had an idea. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to pull it off. Oh, this will do. Stanier. Is that Stanier or is that an Oracle? Either way. Actually, no, that's an Oracle. Even better. Oh, no. It's a Primo. I don't really know the Primo. Okay, so. Let's see. Music off. Guns away. <clears throat> and try and be... I don't know. It's, but the game is doing that frustrating thing where when I break... Oh, it stopped doing it. The controls... Oh, it's because I put the gun away. Right. Yeah, the controls aren't sure whether to be in um, controller or mouse and keyboard mode. So sometimes when I do things like break, it, it zooms in because that's the aim button. Or when I try and handbrake, he shoots or sticks a finger up or whatever the appropriate reaction to that to the current weapon is and that's quite annoying because it uh, can give me away and I don't want to be I don't want things to give me away uh, where am I okay I'm here there's the flame statue okay so this is a sort of the way out of the ghetto we've got the um, the arena is over there somewhere I just can't see it the airport is also down that way I think how am I gonna how am I gonna try and take this um, so I don't want to go around the airport loop because if I go around the airport, excuse me, if I go around the airport loop, then I end up getting very close to the primary checkpoint, the one that's on top of the um, on top of the car park, and then I really, really stick out um, because I go to because my position will jump up to first and then drop back down to fourth, which is a bit weird. Uh, and they'll spot that happen, and they'll know that I'm on my way around the airport loop because that's basically what that means. Now I could try and double bluff them by heading in, getting close to it, and then going backwards around the airport loop. Um, that feels slightly unwise. I think that's just going to—it's going to tell them that I'm in the area and I'm very close. The other alternative is to sneak in from the north. Um, side of the checkpoint and going essentially going around a bit of the loop that, against the one-way system and that's probably a better idea I think so let's see the last the last time I went in there and did the tr sort of did the first part of that at least I went along the um, Los Santos Customs entrance the ones further over to the west this time I'm heading down the middle one, the uh, the, the highway entrance. <clears throat> but instead of going into the airport loop, I'm going to take this exit, this off ramp on the uh, left that's coming up. Oop, let's try not to drive into the back of that car. Uh, yeah, so if I take this exit ramp that I'm coming up to, instead of staying up on the left there and going around the loop, then I think that's going to... Oh, I'm first already. Hmm. That's not ideal. I was hoping they'd be a bit closer than this. Now, Pete should have noticed his position change there and should have got suspicious. Um, but he's carried on, so I guess he's just trying to get down there as quickly as possible. Is there another way to do the airport loop? I mean, can I do what Pete did legally? No, I don't think so. This is a one-way system. Need to get over here. <laughs> la la la, don't see me, don't see me, I'm not doing this. La 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 la. This is the... well this is a car park. Oops, damage went to the car a bit. 
this road here <laughs> is the one that I actually wanted to be on. Um, okay. So what I was considering was going into one of the car parks up here. There's an orange mic mobile. But it's cleared off. Okay. Okay, while the coast is clear, I'm taking that and I'm running away. <laughs> right, I think that is the cleanest I've ever managed to take that checkpoint. Um, I Entirely fueled by Mike happening to turn the wrong way at the wrong moment. Um, I'm just going to pull over in this car park. and hide. Uh, Cause I think I think I got away with that. I don't think I was even spotted. So I think if I if I just sit here in this car park, there's another car next to me, so they hopefully they're gonna think that yes this is a this is a real car park. You know what, I should have got out of the car. It's probably too late for that now. Or, you know, just hidden up the back of a building or something. Why am I sitting here? This is a stupid, stupid idea. <laughs> oh, dear. Goodness sake. Right. Okay. Fourth checkpoint. Let's think about that while we're um, <clears throat> while we're in hiding. So that's over on the... Uh, either on the top of Multicolor Car Park. Or it's in the, in the junction next to it. Mike is attempting to blink mobile his way out of here. Okay. He's gone. Alright. I'm... That's enough hiding. This is where Tristan suddenly turns up and clobbers me from behind, no doubt. Ooh, that's a Sultan, I can't take that. Okay, so it looks like I managed to pick a car that was so boring and so bad that the hunters didn't even give it a second, that Mike didn't even give it a second chance, a second glance when he saw it. <laughs> oh dear. I'm glad they didn't see it. I'm not sure how well a running away would have gone in this car. I'm in fourth place though now, that's quite nice. It means I'm allowed to go and take the next one. So, oops. is there anything I can do to the, for the, this, with this one that's remotely interesting? I'm not sure there is. I think, I think I'm just gonna have to go up and just try and take it by just driving up to it on the road and going through the checkpoint and then running away from the hunters when they chase me. I, th I think this is going to be one that I can't, can't realistically sneak. Um, now it's going to be slightly better to approach it from the south than the north <clears throat> because of where it is compared to the primary and all distances are marked to the awkward checkpoint that's why we've, we've worked it, we've set it up the way we have um, how do we get there yeah let's go around this way so going around the edge of the maze bank arena um If I take the, yeah, if I turn right onto the onto the onto the um, highway up there, I don't know which lane I'm meant to be in for that. Ooh, are any of these cars worth stealing? That's a Phoenix. I like Phoenixes. Let's try it. I mean, it's it's a muscle car, so it's a silly one to take based on what I've been saying before. But the Phoenix is, I don't know. There's something just ostentatiously awesome about it. I think that I rather like. It makes a nice sound. It's it's just generally an, a, a ridiculous over-the-top muscle car. And it's yeah, it's not a good car for this sort of. Given that the others are seem to be in the, in the, in the heavy weights, there's the checkpoint. You can see it right over there in the distance, over, between those buildings. <laughs> that's the difficult one. That's on top of um, on top of multicolored car park, and then the uh, the the easy one is on the ground next to it. So I reckon this is going to be one of those. I'm just going to take this at speed. I think. I think that's going to be the only way to sensibly do this checkpoint. Um, let's see. There's... Did I want? No. It's this one. This junction that I want here. Yeah. So turn, turn left here, and follow this road straight on till morning. 
I did not know AIs ever did that. <laughs> it's not AI. It's not sort of. It's a sort of behaviour that if if you saw if you saw that when you were a hunter, you would get very very suspicious. Okay, so I think I'm now on the correct road. This must just curve round and take me to that checkpoint. So I'm going to throw all subtlety to the wind and try and approach it. Well, actually, I'm going to slow down a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yes. Going to try and hit that at speed and just keep going because I think that's the only way to take this checkpoint because it's so exposed. I did take that, didn't I? Pretty sure I took that. There's a purple car behind me, so he noticed me. <laughs> purple car went over me. Excellent. Oh, I can't wait to see that on the um, on the replay. <laughs> that was amazing. Did, I'm, I'm still not 100% sure if I took that checkpoint. Um, yes, I did. Okay. I had to. Uh, so you can press you can press B on the um, on the gamepad to to point the camera in the direction of the next checkpoint in case you get lost. We. We frown on it for navigation, but I think in this particular case, because I was honestly not sure whether I'd take, even taken the checkpoint or not, it was kind of justified. Um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Right, five. Five is up to... Oh God, I don't know how to describe... Oh, it's, it's next to the shopping centre. Okay. I'm going to take this terrible car here up north and try and find something a bit more to my tastes. What even is it? <gasps> A manana. Ba -do -ba -do 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 -do. Mana mana. Do -do -do. Yeah. Um, so this is a weird car. It's very, very boaty, but without the speed of the Windsor. <clears throat> Not a fan. <laughs> Let's. Now, if I head into Ghetto, all I'm going to find is um, muscle cars and Plymouths. Do I mean Plymouths? Ooh, what's this? This looks relevant to my interests. Ow! You're not supposed to run me over when I'm trying to carjack you. How dare you? How very dare you? This is... Oh, it's a fugitive again. It's, be it's better than the um, Manamana. Um, but not by much. <laughs> I want something... small, nippy and agile. As I was saying earlier, I think a, a blister would be perfect at the moment. Let's head over... Toward, let's see, I'm trying to think where blisters spawn. They're often in the sort of the East Vinewood area, I think, and that's quite a long way away from the checkpoint. So I'm going to head over this way, up here. Just keep my eyes open, see what I see. But I want, yeah, I think I want a coupe, like an Oracle or an F620 or something like that. Sentinel, even Sentinel would be fine. Um, what have we got here? I don't even know what these are. That's, the spawn set seems to fine. The spawn set seems to have changed quite a lot. So, in previous runs, I've been saying it's been a bit limited, and all I've seen around has been um, has been radiuses and one or two other things. Now we seem to have the opposite. There, are, I, I kind of want a radius, and I can't find any. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's very good though. Ooh, 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 ooh. that one. No, that's another um, fugitive. It's exactly the same as the car I'm in. <laughs> I am at least heading towards the next um, checkpoint, so that's a good start. Uh, well, kind of towards, it's off to the left now. Ooh, is that... That, I think, is a coupe. Yes, it is. It's an exemplar. Excellent. This is... This is... I did some... Um, I did some research, which is where all the um, all the uh, cards that are popping up with car stats on them uh, came from. Um, and based on that, this is one of the th there are there are basically three um, three three coupes that are worth choosing for the hunters. There's this one, which is the the handliest. It's got the best traction, so in theory it should be nice and grippy, should be good at cornering and that sort of thing. Uh, there's the Windsor, that's the the massive boat thing. That's got the best top speed and the best acceleration. But it handles like a brick. So Tristan seems to be able to deal with it. The rest of us hate it. 
Uh, then there's the, I think it's the Oracle. Um, it's a sort of a bit more of an all-rounder. It's it's the second fastest. It's almost as fast as the Windsor, um, but it's got a bit more ha handling, a bit more tra a bit more, a bit grippier, a bit better handling. Um, this one is, as I said, is the handliest. So it'll be ideal if I get in a chase with the Windsors again. <laughs> I should be able to corner a lot better than they can. And you know, little things like end or breaking maneuvers and all that, all that fun stuff. So there's the next checkpoint down there ahead of me. Uh, it's happily, it's exactly where I thought it was. I'm um, apparently can read maps. Who knew? So I'm going to be a little bit good on the approach. Try and look reasonably normal, even if I am in a sort of fairly unsubtle bright red car. I'll change lanes here so that Mike can't get me. And then I'll change back again and be rather obvious to being a, a player rather than... Oh, maybe not. Maybe I got, rid of, got away with that one. Or maybe not. There is a Blinkmobile on my tail. Let's stick in tra sit in traffic, see if he goes away. No, I think he's... Um, I think I've spotted. I was sort of trying to run him over then. Oh, that was tyres. Oh no. There goes my advantage. Um, I admit, I was trying to run him over. I wasn't doing a very good job of it. Oh, this car is now very, very slidey. I think maybe if I baby it a little bit, it'll be slightly less bad. We'll see. Oh, we're going up here. Into this alleyway. Right, I'm either free or I'm dead at this point. I'm going to hope it's the the, um, the former, and I'm going to. This is an unclimbable hedge. I'm going to hide. Bravely bold, so Robin. Yes. Um... <clears throat> okay, so I think I took that quite well. Um... I was not as I wasn't quite as subtle as I thought it was. Mike had clearly twigged that that was a player. Ooh, I like this car park. It's got a, um, is that a Zion. I think it might be a Zion. Oh no, it's a Felon GT. Even possibly better. I'm not sure. There's certainly some very good cars in it. I can't use that bullet though, and I can't use that. Oh, what's this over here? I mean, I can't. Not that one. This one. Is that a Comet? Yes, that's a Comet. Definitely can't use a Comet. That's a supercar. Uh, in fact, I think both that and the bullet are supercars. But um, yeah, I'm I'm I guess I'll just sit around here in um, wherever I am, Vinewood Hills, for a bit, and try and wait to, uh, yeah, wait to get the last place. So this one's on the, in the golf club. Now there's there's two options for this. <laughs> I can either go inside the golf club to get it. Now that's actually an interesting thought. That might be a, a workable strategy. I can either go inside the golf club and drive around in the golf club where I'll be really, really obvious and there is only one way in and out of the golf club, so it's dangerous. Or I pick up the one just on the outside of the golf course and that's going to be easy to get, comparatively. I, th I don't know, it's going quite well so far. I, so, I don't know, I, I think that potentially... Oh, there's Mike. Holy fuck. 
be suspicious, I think. I don't know, maybe not. I think I got away with that, whatever that was in this context. Yeah, I'm going to take a slightly different route because I don't trust them to not be still behind me. <laughs> this isn't. Oh, this is a way I can go. This is a. Yeah, this isn't a dual carriageway. This is two separate roads on either side of the car park, which is slightly funny. Okay, so I've got to life invade. Uh, the golf club is just over there. So if I'm going to, if I'm going to brave the silly one, which I think I am. Then I can go in somewhere. No, I've clearly missed the entrance to the golf club because I'm heading up the side of it now. Oh well, never mind. All right, I'll take the other way. I've got a reasonably good car. Hopefully, I'll be able to use it to escape. Um, I can't see the stats. Oh no, this is the entrance to the golf club. It's up here. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I. This is this is silly. This is foolish. But I'm doing it anyway cuz I think it'll be entertaining. Now, the thing is, if I <clears throat> let's recce it first. There it is, just over there. So I can sneak up along the hedge. And the thing is, as long as I can get back along here and out of the golf club quicker than they realize what's going on, then I'll be okay and safe and free. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if I like this idea or not. I really don't. There's quite a lot. Of, there's enough bushes around the edge of the golf club that I feel like ooh, I've got a decent amount of cover. But I'm not sure if that's actually true. I'm also not sure if I can squeeze through on this side of the building. Yes, I can. Oh, that's not a good plan. Now if I hair away like this and then go sneaky because I don't think they're aware of me I think that worked <laughs> oh I've got a damaged car but because I drove into a tree um, so if they notice that then I'm in trouble but otherwise oops. otherwise I got away with that wow I can't believe that. <laughs> and I was telling, I was, I'd been thinking that it would be nice to have to try and take, um, try and take one of the advanced checkpoints, as it were, one of the ones that's in a silly place. And I actually managed it. Wow. I'm, yeah, as you can probably tell, I'm rather pleased with myself for that one. <laughs> that, that, that being sneaky worked really, really well. Um, and because of the placement of it. I don't know whether they realised that I got it from in the golf club or whether they thought I'd taken the, the obvious outside one and they just happened to not, not see me. Maybe there were some other cars going through it at the same time. And so they were able and, they, and that was enough to throw them off and confuse them. I do need a different car though. And I'm also not sure exactly where the last checkpoint is. I know it's up near the casino. But I don't know exactly where it is. Um, because the edge of the edge of the map is covered up by a, big, a different map on my, on my other monitor, one of my other monitors. So, um, yeah. I, it's going to be the casino car park though. I'm pretty sure of that. So let's head up that way. I got into fourth place, I, I think. I did get into fourth place, didn't I? Pretty sure. Ooh. Third. <laughs> Now, how do I get to the how do I get to the casino safely? Oh, I know how I get to the casino safely. Yes, I um I go up and round. Ooh, here's a plan. Here's a sneaky sneaky plan. If I get into the casino car park by going through the race course. Yes, I like this idea. <laughs> this is going to be this is going to work. This is either going to work really really well or really really badly. It's one of those. Um Oh, in fact, I think if I can get inside the race course, ooh, is that even possible? Because there's a, I think there's a tunnel that leads from the middle of the race course into the casino car park, looking at the map. Um, and if so, if I can get into the middle of the race course, then that's going to be the perfect way to do it. 
Otherwise, I don't know, I might have to do it on foot or something like that. That doesn't seem safe. <laughs> the other thing is, I'm, I have to admit, I'm not 100% sure where the uh, checkpoint is. I think that's me caught. Um, no, not caught. I think that's me spotted. And I'm not in a great car for this um, fleeing business. But let's see what we can do anyway. Run away. And I'm also not in a great area for getting away from a car that's almost certainly faster. So we shall have to see. There, well, there are alleyways though. But I don't know any of them. So I don't want to dive into them in case, in case they're dead ends. Oh, this is a car park. This is a bad plan. Not only is it a car park, it's a gun shop car park. Oh, that was a tyre. That was at least one tyre. Was... Oh, slide. What are you doing, silly man? Well, if I get away with this, I'm going to, I don't know, start a religion or something. This is not a hiding place. What are you doing? Oh, this is a hiding place. <gasps> I can't believe they... Well, no, I can believe because it's. I know how hard it is to keep track of someone. But, oh, I'm amazed I got away with that. Especially when my character started doing really dumb things like climbing over his car door and just not going anywhere remotely sensible. And I felt like jumping out of the car and running and hiding was a good idea. And I think it was. And not just because it worked. But... But in... I can't... Yeah. I think it was a good idea. Oh, it's another bloody fugitive. <laughs> um, still, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think getting out and running away like that was a good idea. Um, but... I, ex I executed extremely badly. And I can't believe they didn't spot me. <laughs> okay. Now, my concern here is that he saw where I was going. Now, I don't know how much of it he's, think he's going to think is just me making a bid for freedom when I got spotted. Um, and how much of it is this, that it was my plan to go that way. Um, but either way, but if he if he thinks I was deliberately going up all the way up here, then that might give him a, a clue as to what I'm planning, and that would be a bad thing. <laughs> That'd be a very bad thing. Okay, so I think there's nobody around, so I'm probably okay to put my foot down a little bit, at least to join traffic like this. So this this road brings me up and round sort of around the top next to the theatre and then across to the um, what do you call across the and then I can go across the highway and get to the the, the racetrack and or the top of the top end of the racetrack and from there with any luck I can filter around get into the casino and get that final checkpoint and actually win I mean that would be nice I've not I've not won one of these for whew, ages in fact, no, in fact, nobody's won one of these for ages. We've been... Um, we, we, the, the Hunters have had... As I say, the Hunters have got better and have had, have, had, had enough practice that they're actually really quite good at hunting me down now. Uh, which isn't what I want. Um, that's what they want, obviously. But no, I, um, I've been needing to try and find some way of just... doing things enough differently to evade them. Now, this road goes down further than I was hoping. Maybe I can turn in here. Yeah. Okay. The, yeah. The the whole racetrack casino area is bigger than I was sort of thinking. So if we come around here, I don't really know the racetrack very well. There's a ramp to get into it there. That's good. 
Or can I just drive down the side of it? Um... drive down the side of here for now see how this goes now the thing is I'm I'm so off-road here that if they see me they'll immediately know it's me I can't get my car through there I don't think which is a shame I'm gonna go on I'm gonna go on foot and have a do do a reconnaissance run again you don't get pedestrians looking, certainly don't get pedestrians looking like this in race mode so I don't know if this is going to work I also don't know exactly where the finish finish line is as I said there it is ok so I'm going to get to here, I'm now in first place I don't see any of them around Oh, no, they spotted me. Help. I'm going to bail out of that idea. <laughs> it was a good idea, I think. But unfortunately, they, yeah, I, I was expecting them to be over on the other, other side, I guess. Um... Never a car when you need one. What is this? Grand Theft Tumbleweed. Oop, there's one. It's another, another, another fugitive, but... Oh, what the hell? Please. I'll take it. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> Could see him aiming at me as I was coming up the hill. Yes, I've won one. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> it only took me 50 minutes, blimey. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. I've, um, yeah, that's been, that's been Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint, and that has been absolutely exhausting. <laughs> I'll see you next time. AI will sometimes actually have wheel spin when they set off, just as a note. Yep. Usually sports or supers. I'm currently fourth a block over from the checkpoint. Is this him? Uh, black muscle He's car. fourth there. Black muscle car here. I may have got left hand tyres. Uh, okay, he's heading north uh, past the construction site. Oh, uh, going north through square squares. North? This is not north. Ignore me. This is we're going east. Over I'll the bridge turn north towards north. oil fields. Oh, he has well. crashed and double back. Don't make you say back over the bridge. Uh, yeah, we are just over the bridge to take a right at the end of the bridge. He's heading back towards the bridge now. Same so bridge. we are currently going north now towards Mirror Park. Oh, right. right okay. So we're on the oil field road towards Mirror Park. Okay. Uh, continuing up. We are at the lower bridge that goes over the storm drain. Crossing over, so a bit south of Casino, heading into town, so we're going west now. Uh, towards Shopping Mall. Heading west towards Shopping Mall, heading towards the northern side of Shopping Mall. 
Uh, he has taken a, yep, heading south down the, down the eastern side of Shopping Mall. He has crashed and has doubled back, so we're heading north again. Uh, I think I've, yeah, I think he's lost me. Give me a second. I have unfortunately lost him. Uh, getting close, I'm third, actually pretty close to the primary. He's very close. To I think you've just uh, swapped third and fourth to me. Uh, I'm now first though. I've gone from fourth to first, relatively close to the checkpoint. Got, uh, thing, yeah, got it, got it, got it, going through the checkpoint now. Let's see. Uh, heading Grace north from checkpoint up towards Grace Dan. Heading up towards Art Gallery, turning right, right in front of car parks. Left around the side of the. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ah, that post is in front of me. Yeah, I, I hit that last time. I didn't see him going north, so I think he must have gone this way. Oh, I've lost him now. I'm going to go through red car park, but I didn't see him. Oh, that. On first, yes, straight through red car park and straight south. Ah, uh, missed Nice. Him. Good catch. He knows I'm here though. Uh, he's, oh, he's going off-road off the low highway. Oh, it's you're going out. Right, All we're right. out of the there now. Um, passing the tall construction site on the south side of it. Heading right, east. I'm going to go this way. Heading south into Ghetto because he likes doing that because none of us know it. Nope, he's heading the wrong way onto the highway west. Uh, but doing an immediate U-turn to be heading the correct way on the highway. So we're heading east now. And he's immediately taking the jump off. And straight back on again. Up the slip road. So we're now heading east on the highway. Okay. He's just trying to mess up instructions. Behind you, Mike. I mean, in fairness... Well, he's coming off... I think we're south of the LS Customs that's over here. Uh, that sort of area, east west. Uh, oh, we're going off road. We're by the storm drain, I think? No, we're by rail lines. Is there a way out of here? Or is he trapped now? Oh no, he's, he's going back out the way he came. No, he's not. Maybe. We're off road by train lines. Uh, lost him. I see him. Back onto the highway heading west. But he's, being him, he's probably about to do a U turn. No, he Is hasn't. Is the highway he's with train lines in the middle of it? Is this the highway with train lines in the middle of it? Uh, no, uh, where are we, Pete? Uh, yeah, Overstorm main road. highway. The highway that goes by oil fields, it's that one. We're on the actual highway itself. And we're going back off again. This oh, is it's the tall off. highway. The very tall highway. Oh, that one. Right, okay. The high highway. Yes. Uh, we're now heading south, south. down industrial. Uh, me and Peter uh, be very careful not to hit each other. Yes. West. Um, Into ghetto. Ah, damn it. The AI got Some me. Uh, we're in ghetto, uh, heading north now. Um, where are we? Uh, heading north out of ghetto towards Square of Squares, except. No, he, what, what's he doing? He's being indecisive again. Heading back into ghetto. That was close. <laughs> that was a little bit close. <laughs> Through the car wash. My car doesn't have very good braking. Where are you, Tristan? I've uh, lost you. Passing Franklin's house. That helps, I think. Not really. 
Uh, we're in ghetto. Uh, tram lines. <laughs> the tram line's heading out of ghetto. Uh, except we turned right away from that, in, back into ghetto. Oh, and off road again. Oh, that's really narrow. Uh, back on the tram lines, heading. Is, is into that ghetto. you, Pete? I'm following, just crossing. Um, just yes, crossing it is. Back in areas. Tram lines are this way. Um, and there's a train there, less than helpful. I'm delaying him here while we try to figure out where. No, don't I, point your yeah, gun at me. <laughs> I don't know where here is, I'm afraid. I'll put my gun at you as well. Uh, we're on the tram lines, north out of ghetto, but then we've turned right again. Uh, we're heading across the north end of ghetto, I think. Uh, we, I think we might be heading north out. No, we're passing the strip club now. Uh, can't turn. I didn't see which way he turned here. Ah, uh, I've lost him. He might indeed. I don't Do you push it in on the uh, checkpoint, Mike? Uh, I was just at Amwood right now. Okay. And third. How are you? Uh, I'm by the checkpoint now. I'm not second. I'm taking. I am still point. first, so he has not taken it. I've just taken it and gone first. Right, so I'm second. I guess just yeah, spot the cars coming in, basically. I'll take the upper loop. That car flashed its light, so it can't be him because he. That's really awkward. He knows how to do, do that. Yeah, so I'm not sure he knows how to do that, or if he does, it's yeah, it's very awkward. Doesn't look like he's on the upper loop. Not the lower either. Where is it? Okay. Well, second, maybe he's bolted. Potentially, if he saw Tristan and myself both jump, and he may have hmm. bottled. He hasn't taken the checkpoint, but I'm still first by the actual entrance to the airport. That's it, uh, beyond the checkpoint. That was extremely janky. What are you? Ah, oh, he's done. He's first, he's taking the checkpoint. He's first. Okay, head about down. I wasn't near the checkpoint though, so I didn't see it. That's annoying. Neither did I, I was just away checking the vehicle. I'm heading away on the highway. Second. He's moving in quite quickly. Yeah, he is. Just uh, lost a car heading north. Went through oh, the checkpoint. Where? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. No, he's on. Yep. So he's doing the wrong way. Is north? I've lost sight of him. Oh, there he is, I think. Shot over him. Uh, he's back behind me. Heading back to south towards the checkpoint. Where are you? I lost him. Did he take the checkpoint? I think so. Oh, he, he turned left. He, yes, he yes he turned left uh, towards. I don't know where I am. Uh, and then turned right by. Is that Life Invader? That is right, Life Invader. Yeah. Voice. You still on him? I've lost him.
just the third, the south well. end of shopping centre, and then fourth. I feel you might be at this junction, the other side of the tunnel. Yep, I've got him, orange muscle car. What's looking car heading to uh, Oh, maybe orange? actually, is that him? He's going under the tunnel at the moment. Okay. It might not so be you him. you and I look at different ones. Yeah, no, it's not him. Okay, I've got a red one going here. Which was Who's super off? sus, but it's now being very AI-like. Have you taken checkpoint? Yep, got him. Found him, found him, found him. I have not. Where? Uh, so he's uh, heading north, away from the um, checkpoint. I think I've tried out some tyres. Heading towards whatever the North Eclipse Towers looks like it is. What's he driving? Off side of him. Red sedan. Red sedan. I think that's all I've got to that's almost yeah. like a massive car. And so I was also saying red, red, um, I did say sports car because I thought I had a spoiler. Where are you? I think he's gone north into hills. I've lost him. Did you take the checkpoint? He did. So red sedan in the hills. Early into hills or? Uh, no, into Rockford Hills. Oh. Oh, Ro Rockford Hills, right. I'm... Yeah. I was at the wrong hills. Although, in fairness, he's probably gone a bit further. Ah, uh, Car park. Yeah, I'm, I'm at Eclipse Towers. He's probably around here or north of here, and I'm not sure. As in this sort of level of, of northness. Hello. Yeah. Uh, just in... Yeah, I can't see him. Sorry, I lost him. Oop, there goes my bonnet. You and me trading. I've just gone fourth at low car parks. And third again just, at low car parks. Just gone fourth. He is second now. He's now first. Indeed, he's proper building. That's too sport. Yeah, we're all about the same distance away from it. Uh, there is a white car that's just gone through the checkpoint at the same time Ron Scott Tags is going first. They on it? It's Heading not him. Okay. Pretty sure it's not on this one, but you never know. Right, just gone four. Um, couldn't tell you where I am. Found him. Uh, the one well, north. He's by my nightclub. Probably right. doesn't help anyone. Nope. Uh, going up to the, down to the main boulevard one. Right, I'm Turning on boulevard west. Towards the uh, casino. No, that's east. South, okay. heading down towards the one that you were at, Pete. Right, okay. I am on the north one now, so give me a second. Uh, What's he driving? Heading east along that one now. Oh, he's stopped at the ammunition. He needs some more ammo. That's the is that a bullet? I've lost him, but he's heading east along there and may have lost time. Heading Your east. Your car's in the way. <laughs> I lost sight of him because I was shooting him. What was he driving? Uh, good question. Something that hopefully doesn't have tyres. Quick moving vehicle approaching me here? Yep, that'll be him. Shoot him, shoot him. 
Oh, it's Pete. There was me. Um, yeah. I'm now third. I'm first. So, Pete, yeah. you're second, presumably. Yeah. What colour's vehicle was he in? Oh, I've forgotten by now. It's been too long. <laughs> we, we had no idea yeah. of what vehicle or what colour vehicle. Okay. I'm there now. Um, music locker, I've gone fourth. So he's extremely close. The person on foot running towards the checkpoint. That could be it. Shoot him. He almost hit him on foot. Where? Yeah, just the other side of the car park. Half health. Don't what do you him? The ball pop. I don't see him either. He was, oh, you know, he's just outside the car park. Which direction? Uh, north east corner. North -east is that corner. you in right the car park? In. I'm in the car park, yes. Okay. I'm just outside the car park. Uh, so coming from racetrack? Yep. I'm not sure there's a way to get around there without actually taking it, which I don't want to do. Uh, you can jump these posts like that. I do kind of want to stay in the car park though. Are you on the road, Mike? No, I'm on the, um, the north <laughs> Literally east standing the on park. the fence. Literally standing on a pillar. So I saw, I saw him just a little bit north of my current exact position. Right. What? He's finished, he's oh. finished. Oh. Snuck in the last bit. I saw someone in the car park. Claiming to be someone else. Hey, but... yeah, well, we'll see in the video what he actually did. Yep. So I'm guessing then he ran further down and hopped over the fence. 